Hello guys! Thank you for once again visiting to my channel. I hope I have helped you. And this time, just relax. Um, enjoy learning easy mathematics with me. Let's consider the square figure below. What is the area of the figure if its side is x unit? Let us see. The side of this um, square figure is x unit. Now, we know that the area of any rectangular figure and in this case, a square figure is equal to the product of its side. And since this is a square figure, we can simply say that the area of a square is equal to the square of its, the measure of its side. Or, the measure of its side, square. The area now is equal to the product of x and itself which gives us the square of x or the area of this square figure is equal to x square. Now take note that the unit of measure of area is a square unit. Same figure is cut by a smaller figure by y unit. Now let's look at here. Okay, so again a smaller square with y unit is cut along this corner. And what is the area of the smaller square that is cut? So we have again, area is equal to the square of its side. And its side is y. So therefore, we have here the area is the square of y. Or y squared and what is the area of the remaining part of the figure to find the area of the remaining part of the figure let me trace this part of the remaining figure and as we can see another figure is formed we have here a rectangular plane figure the property of a rectangular a rectangle says that the opposite side of a rectangle is equal so we can write here y okay so this measures also y unit how do we get this expression take note that this side here originally measures x unit okay this is x unit but earlier we cut um, a smaller figure square with um, y as the measure of its side. Now, in a mathematical expression, cut is translated as subtraction. That's why we have here, we subtract y from x. Or we have this expression, x minus y. Similarly on this part, and y is cut from here so we have here the expression x minus y we will separate that figure label each part earlier the property of a triangle says that the opposite sides of a rectangle is equal now in here we will do some uh, simple manipulation Okay, so we join this part here uh, to the remaining part of this figure or the bigger rectangular figure. So what we have formed is um, larger rectangular plane figure. Now we have already explained this one earlier. So we have this, okay, and this Y here. And how do we get x plus y this side here is x and this side here is y 
take note of the term and. And in mathematics means addition. That's why we have here x plus y. Okay? So, the area again is equal to the side or the product of the two sides of a rectangular figure. And that is equal to, okay, x plus y multiplied by the difference of x and y or x minus y. So the area now can be expressed as um, the difference of two squares. If you can still remember, this is a special product and we call this as sum and difference of two terms and the product of this special product is called the difference of two squares okay 